Hey everyone, and welcome to question one associated with the ROC curve lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did this correctly. So in this case, a researcher is evaluating the testing characteristics of the PHQ-9 screener for depression, where an increased result is more extreme. With a cutoff of 10, the testing characteristics are denoted by the star. If we were to increase the cutoff to 15, in which direction would we shift in terms of the point? Would we shift towards A or would we shift towards B? So there's really two ways to, to get this question right. One is really being familiar with ROC curves and the second is really thinking through it critically. So first we remember for an ROC curve, anytime we make the cutoff more extreme, we are moving down and to the left. So if you just remember that general principle, you would quickly be able to say that we must be shifting from the star to B. We could also think through it though. If we were to increase the cutoff, so have a more extreme cutoff, we will be making it easier to get a false negative and harder to get a false positive. And therefore, we would expect a decrease in the sensitivity. So we need to move down on the ROC curve because sensitivity is our y-axis. And we would have an increase in specificity, which is denoted by moving to the left because the x-axis is one minus specificity. So you can either remember more extreme cutoff, you move down to the left, or you could really think through it. I think it's nice to kind of do both. Um, if you had trouble with this question, I recommend you go back and watch the ROC curve lecture. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.